Now that's Huggy Pacino certified. Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is Huggy Pacino with another video. Yo, R.I.P. to Sean P. Uh, man, it's been four years. I ain't realized it's been that long, man. Uh, the Brownsville legend from New York, uh, a.k.a. Sean P. You know, a.k.a. Ruck, a.k.a. Jesus, uh, Jesus Price, a.k.a. Kimbo Price. You know what I'm saying? Um, one of the most hilarious dudes, he could say, fuck you and, like, a hundred different ways and say you whack in a hundred different ways. You know what I'm saying? Real funny, hilarious dude. What was the joint? He said, uh, he said, banging on wax, niggas don't bang in the street. Uh, playing for keeps, keep playing. I slam your ass on your face till your fucking teeth breaking. <laughs> Knock earth, wind, fire, and ice out that nigga. Like, yo, dude is like hilarious and shit. The joint where he was like, uh, make your mom suck my dick with barbecue sauce. Yo, that shit is... Yo, can you imagine somebody saying that shit to you? <laughs> That's the most disrespectful shit you can say to, to a nigga's mom. Like, y'all make your moms suck my dick with barbecue sauce. <laughs> That's crazy fucking nuts. Like, bro, like, all them fighting words, bro. You gotta kill this dude, man, for saying that shit to you. Like, can you, uh, anyway, I'm not even gonna say imagine it. Anyway, big shout out to uh, Duck Down, uh, Buckshot, the, the, uh, the whole boot camp clique. Uh, man, uh, this is a real special dude that we lost in hip hop a few years ago, man. And uh, I, wanna, I wanna tell a story that Tim Smooth, RIP to Tim Smooth uh, from Louisiana, from New Orleans. Uh, Tim Smooth, if y'all don't know who Tim Smooth is, he's responsible for. And I'm gonna put this out there. He's responsible for create. He's the basic. He's basically the one that created mystical style, and he's the head. He's the head guy for the boot camp click in Louisiana, because that was a boot camp click with Sporty T and G Slim and Black Menace, Tim Smooth, Mystical Precise, uh, and all of them. And they had a clash uh, with the boot camp click in New, in New York. Um, I forgot exactly where Tim Smooth said they clashed, but he said he remembered that these two, it was three individuals he remembered that got down and got busy. He said it was a real tall dude. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's a real tall dude. And he said it was, a, it was a, another dude that was tall, but not very tall, but he had dreads. It was him. He said he remembered the short dude and the real, real, real tall dude. And I know we know the tall, tall dude, Evil D. Anyway. So he said those three got down. There was only a few people in the boot camp clique that really got down on the fight. But he said nobody really won. It was just like a punch here and there, and it was like a breakup. You know what I'm saying? He said it was at a show. I don't remember exactly where, what year it was, but he said that respectfully, he could always respect the boot camp clique because Tim Smooth was more of a fan of, of MCing and who could actually write and rhyme. And, storytelling and things of that nature because to most people back then if you were from the south as an MC you tried to gain respect from many other places and especially if you came up in the 90s a lot of people on the east coast didn't like you we just gonna keep it real right so being that these guys in New York got a boot camp click and it's a boot camp click in Louisiana of course that's gonna be tension it's kind of like but he said, you know, they, they was cool afterwards and, you know, down the road, you know, there was no beef. And uh, Tim Smooth would always tell me like, yo, like Helter Skelter Nocturnal was one of the dopest albums he ever heard. And that's the thing, like, you know, we didn't have social media back then. So y'all don't get to know this story. A lot of people don't, even, most people probably heard of this story, but probably don't know if it's true or not. I'm telling y'all now that Tim Smooth confirmed it to be a true story if you ever heard of it. So, um, I just want to say that, man. A uh, big shout out to Sean P. I never had a chance to meet him. I know that, you know, a, a lot of people in hip hop are going to miss this dude because I can go back and listen to Mike Tyson like probably over and over and over and over. And I can go listen to Jesus Price Superstar and Kimbo Price. And I can go listen to all that shit. Like all the features, you know what I'm saying? The joint would, do y'all understand how special 
that Static Selector is. Big shout out to Static Selector out of Boston. He actually had Mac Miller and Sean Price on the same song. See, I always say that Static Selector is the hip hop version of what you would call DJ Khaled because he actually can produce. You know what I'm saying? Not to say Khaled can't produce records, but he ain't really producing shit. He ain't really putting fucking, he ain't putting his hands to the boards and really putting shit together and piecing his own album and really going to get MCs and putting them together on the same song. So for, to go get Mac Miller and Sean Price on the same song, do you know how incredible that is? And then to know that both of these guys passed away in an era where MCing that was really necessary, like M Mac Miller's a, a dope MC and Sean Price is a dope MC. To get them on the same song, 21 and under, uh, what was it, 21 and under? You should listen to this, I think that was the name of the song. But yeah, man, and uh, one big shout out to Sean Price uh, and his family, his wife and kids, and you know friends and everybody from Duck Down to Buckshot and everybody. Uh, much love to Sean P. Four year anniversary, man. Uh, hip hop is you know hip hop is needed, man. We need MCs. We need people. We need characters like you know Sam Sean P. To bring life into the, to the industry. Of, of the underground and independent scene because this was not a mainstream dude so of course you're not gonna like i think the only time that you saw him on mainstream really was like recently is when he died about four years ago cnn fox news uh, sean bryce died like yo y'all never quoted this dude albums out y'all never promoted him like that but when he dies you give a fuck you feel me anyway hey much love to uh sean price and his family R.I.P. bro. I'm going to leave y'all with this video too, by the way. Peace. Black Street. Black Street. Hmm. Botswana, small time little league player Pop Warner. Rock corners with hot blocks that's drug infested. Supply suppliers, my money say thug invested. Uh, no disrespect to duck down records. After this go round, a nigga looking for the exit. Peace. Peace. Sincerely, Pyrex Pot Sean. Cookie cut it and spit it on narite.com. The vet earner of stripes, the sket burner. Tears in my eyes when thinking the hex murder. What up, hex? I don't parlay with the crew, nigga. I don't wale you the new niggas. <laughs> Hardcore rap and Mary J. Blige records. That's right. The guard gon' snap, I'm waving the five reckless. Sean Price, the best rapper in Brownsville. Don't know me, but the time this song done, you clowns will. Clowns will. Clowns Hurt will. something, nigga. Know what I mean? Fuck out of here. Grown man rap, nigga. I get my son to fuck one of y'all young rappers up. Word to mother. Fuck out of here. What up, Eli? Ah, where was I? Oh, yes. Sean Carter is nice, but Sean Price is the best. <laughs> Sean gone. gone, no Sean Dawn. Gone. Sean is a dawn, I don't wear Sean John. Army suit, blackberry brandy is long johns. Matching cheese Tim's, you separate weed stems. <laughs> weed carrier, bulletproof vest tester. Glock the spray just a left or rock away in Chester. Too old to rap, too young to whack. Ten fingers, two hands, my nigga, the guns clap. Bow. I don't like niggas no more. Eight figure dreams, nigga, but the figure is four. <laughs> These are words from a thousand years Selling crack and the peas, disguising some housing gear I fucked up somewhere down the line But I got my shit in order, the crown is mine P, P, fuck it Fuck outta here Sean Price, Kimbo Price, Mike Tyson Go get all that shit, all that shit, all that shit And I punch through school buses <laughs> Hmm, now that's Lucky Pacino certified. Chicken and corn. Yeah, business, yeah.